the low vibrity can afford no better turn than this. Thou art a villain. I see thou knowest me not. Fine! This is not excuse the injuries that thou hast done me! Turn and draw! Draw! Turn and draw! Seizure. Maria, I need to get in there. What's the diagnosis here? We're waiting on results for a lumbar puncture. I told you she needed a doctor with her. I told you. Midazolam, one milligram? Yeah. Just stupid tests make this happen. No, Mr. Pollis. A lumbar puncture wouldn't cause this. Seizures aren't unusual in cases like this. Well, it's unusual for us. Candice, please don't make this worse. Um, why don't both of you go and wait outside? No, look, you probably see hundreds of people come through here. Hundreds of little Alice's, but she's the only one we've got. Just stop it. No, we've been here for hours. No, no one no, seems just... to know what they're talking about. Alice is getting sicker and sicker and no one can tell us what the hell's going on. I'll tell you what's going on right now. We've given Alice some medication and that will stop the seizure. You see, it's working already. She'll be all right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, that's OK. That's OK. I just needed to know what was happening to her. Sure. I tried to do everything right, you know. I... I made sure she had a hat on when she went outside. I did the sunscreen thing. I cooked every night, no takeaways. I don't understand what I did wrong. Well, we don't have to do anything wrong for our kids to get sick. It's just a fact of life. Well, what's the use of being a parent if you can't protect your child? Even though we'd like to protect the people we love, sometimes it's just not possible. Should be right now. On my way down there, I found the car. It was at McPherson Street. It was halfway out the gutter. The doors were open. I checked it out for some damage, but it was fine, you know? Didn't seem to be anything wrong with it. But I didn't check under the front of the car, though. So when you got to school, you didn't report it? What, are you serious? Come on. I mean, my car's been taken three times the last two years. No one gives a shit when it's gone. Who's going to care less when I find it again? Being's a student of yours, is he? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, he is. Where you going? We're stuck here in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> Maybe you are not. <laughs> hey, uh, perhaps you're referring to uh, your car, which you parked very dangerously to the cliff edge. Huh? Mm -hmm. What did you do? You know, you missed it. It was beautiful. When it hit the rocks, the flames, they were spectacular, Haley. You couldn't push my car over that cliff. I would have hurt. Oh, really? Way down in the ravine? I don't think so. Ah! You're wrong, honey. <laughs> I thought you'd forgotten. You don't need a last will and testament, Binder. Let's get you out of here. Not gonna die from this bloody ring. Then you can have it out in 200 years, and even then, worst case scenario, you might get some symptoms, you know, fainting spells, rashes. You're more likely to be hit by a meteorite. I can leave it there. Against my best medical advice. Which isn't worth much. What are you waiting for, mate? Go and get dressed. I'm gonna tell Mel that this is all your fault. Did you prescribe Ambrazac for Stan Marsh? Think hard. Possibly. Were there any traces of the active ingredients in his body? It's not something that we normally test for. Even when you knew Stan was taking it, he had a bad heart and died unexpectedly? Just what are you accusing me of? Terminal ego problems. You were prepared to see Edwina go through agonies of guilt rather than admit there was a much stronger probable cause for Stan's heart stopping. I want you to come to court with me. 